Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate, Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. Got another really nice home for you today. I think you're gonna like this one. You get a lot for your for your money in this home. This is a three bedroom, two bath, double wide. And today we are at uh, the Home Boys in Spokane, Washington. And I'll do my best to get you a shot of this entranceway here. Really nice looking entranceway. Once again, they've gone with the, uh, the stonework around your entranceway. Most of the home features hardy board outside, but you've got this uh, aluminum siding around the uh, window there. Really nice, something different. Really makes the home look, look different, looks really good. Again, like I said, you got the stonework on all your pillars. And here's that hardy board siding we were talking about. And continues on up with different type of siding up there. So it's featured all the way throughout the, the outside of the home here. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos I put up. We do this for entertainment purposes. So this is a double wide, really good price on this one. Trust me, you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end to see the price on this one. So if you are liking the videos, don't forget to uh, go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, you know the drill. Don't forget to leave me a comment while you're down there. Let me know what you think. Try to get you the best shot of the exterior here. It will be really brief. Hopefully that wind isn't too bad. All right, let's go ahead and head on in and we'll, trust me, like I said, you're gonna like what you see here. So as we come on up here, you can see you got a really nice looking residential door, transom window above your door. Hello! Honey, I'm home. Nah, I'm single. Ain't nobody to answer to when I walk in the door, except maybe my kid. So as you walk in, you got a nice little coat closet here, right when you walk in. We got the good size living room here. The way they've got it laid out, you're looking in on your kitchen. I'd have it laid out a little bit differently. I'm a guy. What can I say? I'd have the couch turned facing this way so that I'm looking at that. That's where my TV's gonna be. Nice little entertainment center built in. Plenty of storage to put all your devices. See right down there. Xbox, DVD player, receiver, you know, the whole works. Find you a place to store your video games, your movies, whatever else you want to store there. And a look at your door from the inside. A little brief pan on the kitchen and we'll come over here to the dining room. Now you can see you've got a good sized dining room, seating for eight. Pretty formal, pretty formal dinner going on here. Anybody want a lemon? Who's got the tequila? All right, I know jokes aside, yeah. Kind of a nice little different chandelier. I can't say I've seen anything like that before. But like I said, really nice 
size dining room. Got all Whirlpool black appliances here. Built-in ice maker. Got the darker cabinets in here. Big farm sink. Nice window above the farm sink. Really nice countertops. Love the marble backsplash going all the way to the top there. Well, not necessarily the top, but all the way up to the bottom of your cupboards. Nice stove. I love the modern look on the vents that they've been putting in these homes lately. Soft closed doors. Lots of storage space in your island here, and that is just a huge island. Big old pot and pan drawer right here. Pulls all the way out. I've seen where some of these drawers only pull out about three quarters of the way. It makes it a little more difficult to get things in and out of. Like I said, you've got a big island here. And seating for four tells you just how big it is. There we go. So you got four people there, eight people there. Plenty of room for family get together. We can't forget this over here. It's not going to be your largest pantry, but uh, definitely a pantry. Can't go down that way yet. We got to go down here. It's off to your left here. Your laundry room. Coat area, shoe area, right off your back door there. It's perfect. I like when they do that, because then you can come in from outside, take your shoes off, take your coat off, hang everything up. Hot water heater is going to be back in behind there. Your, I guess you could call that a shoe rack or a magazine rack, whatever you want to put there. Plenty of space for your full-size washer and dryer. Now there are no cabinets or racks above it. I'm sure you could add that in. Extra cabinets over here. In your little hallway area here. Got a small little desk. Spot for the kids to do their homework. Just not to be distracted by the TV because they're separated from it. So we got a hers room and over there we've got the kid or the his room. Nah, I don't know. That's just the way they got it set up. One thing I have noticed, a lot of the outlets that they put in these homes have got not only your plug, but they've got USB ports built into them. Every room that so far I've noticed, and I haven't pointed it out before, but they've got at least one outlet that's got USB ports in it, in all the bedrooms. Kind of a nice little updated feature. And look at the size of the closet in this bedroom. That is a big closet. So once again, I'll put, uh, I'll put up the measurements as I come into the rooms when I get the floor plans and do the video editing. So before we go into the other room, let's get the bathroom here. Now, there is no light in the bathroom, unfortunately, so I'll make do the best I can. It's a one-piece shower-tub combo. Transom window above it there. Good-sized tub, though. Now, we'll go into his bedroom. Now this bedroom is a little bit larger. A 
So I'll put up the measurements once I get a uh, copy of the floor plans. So I guess you could say the bad person's or bad kid's room and the good kid's room right here. Seems how this is the bigger one. And you got a really good sized closet in here. True walk-in closet for both your kids. Or I guess if you got three kids, you can make, make that one over there the single kid and that one back there the bunk bed area. Now we'll come down here and we'll take a look at your master bedroom. Really like the way they got that laid out. All right, so in your master bedroom, like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna close this door over here too. All right, so we've got a big master bedroom. We got a ton of space in here. Transom windows above your bed. Two more big floor to ceiling windows. Tons of light. There is not a single light on in this room. And you can see just how bright it is. There's going to be your closet. Kind of a different style of barn door. I can't say I've ever seen anything like that before. Got kind of that little Chinese uh, door looking deal. So I don't know if you call them a barn door or a Chinese door. Big old closet here. Big wrap around down at that end. Once again, there's no light on in the closet, but you got that big transom window up there. Come over here. This is going to be your bed or your master bath, not your bedroom. This is going to be your bathroom. So when we first walk in here, you've got your big old soaker tub. Now this tub is a little bit bigger than some of the soaker tubs I've seen. I can show you kind of just how deep that really is. Nice little storage above there. Hello, Raiden. Got to say hello to my kid. Six-year-old kid. For, he just gets a kick out of, when, out of watching me wave to him in the videos, especially when he's watching me do the editing. Got nice cabinets down below there. Got dual sinks. I would like to see these square porcelain sinks there. Dual vanity. Lights above each mirror. They've continued on with that same marble tile shower, or tile in the shower. And as I've mentioned in some of the previous videos, this bar right here in the non tile showers is really low, like almost head hitting low. That one is up high enough that I actually have to hold the camera up to be able to show you. So like I said in the previous videos, I would option in the tile shower that way I'm not uh, Having to worry about hitting my head. Oh, hey, look, there we am again. I didn't even notice the mirror there when I was filming. All right, now we're where we had to stop for a customer. So once again, if you've uh, if you've made it this far, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of the home. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button while you're down there. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to uh, hit that notification bell. Let you know when I upload videos. Currently uploading every Sunday and Wednesday. So this is Nate with Nate's Manufactured Home Tours saying thanks and have a good day. Bye.